What is going on PMC Pokemon Master Cup fans, viewers, and audience? How are you? How's it going? We got a interview with I. Well, not with I, not with me. Not with me. I am the interviewer. But we got a an... self interview. <laughs> yeah, we got an interviewee. Dude, what? Hello. Hello, interviewee. How are you? What's up, Internet? I am Casey Cameron, and I am. I guess we're not infrared. I guess we're still infrared today. You're but uh, we're infrared. Uh, so we're going to get an interview for one of these fantastical leagues. Yeah. So have you, I mean, um, how'd, you, how'd you get in this league? Like, how'd you, how'd you get brought into this PMC thing? Well, it was about 16 years ago when I decided to play Pokemon. No, I'm just. Um, I was streaming, and Jay Specs came on, and he was enjoyed the stream, and he chatted with me afterwards. He's like, "Hey, we're doing a league." And I was like, "Hey, I'm super busy, but I will try my bestest to do uh, the league." And so this is my. I just said, "Here's my logo," and I will join. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So that, I, okay, so Specs just literally was just like, "All right, you're joining." Yeah, you're cool. Let's do this. Yeah, and I was like, all right. That's exactly what happened. Kind of like what happened to me in my first <laughs> league. I had no idea. Like, it was just never battled in my life. I was like, I, really? I, yeah, I never battled. I was only like getting introduced to Smogon, like what Smogon uh. was. I didn't know what VGC was, none of that. And then uh, this guy is like, oh, uh, you want to join the league? I'm like, I, I've never battled. He's like, okay, I'm adding you to the Skype chat. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you have no choice now. Yeah, so that's, it was it was crazy, but it's cool because you you meet so many people from it. Exactly, we own you now. Yeah, they do, <laughs> they do own me. But um, let's uh, let's continue on with this PMC interview. So I just want to uh, you you said uh, Casey Cameron Infrared, mm -hmm. right? That's your name. But what is your what is your team name? My team name. I am the proud coach of the Pittsburgh Steelixes. Pittsburgh Steel. Oh, I like that. Yes. I like that. I feel like I feel like everybody. <laughs> it's one of those things. A lot of people do like similar ones because it's just obvious. But I've never heard that one for some. Pittsburgh Steelixes. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I was. I've been in a couple of these things, and I've used that one pretty much every time. That's uh, because awesome. unless someone else from Pittsburgh comes and be like, "Hey, that's my name. I'm gonna keep using it," and shows me copyrighted proof. Yeah. <laughs> the Five Brothers got nothing on you. Yes. Right? Yeah, okay. You win. You win for that one. <laughs> All right. Um How long you been on YouTube? YouTube uh almost a year, but you know, you put your time in then you, you slowly um dwindle off. And I'm not really a big fan of YouTube anymore. It's more of an archive system. I love streaming. So the Twitch is where I spend most of my time with the Pokémon community. Um and I stream every day at Twitch TV slash infrared there's my plug <laughs> that's okay everyone just plug themselves I, I got no problem with that thank you there's there's no problemos with that one no i i kind of agree with you i like the i like the vibe that live streaming gives off because i feel like with live streaming it's a conversation not a statement being made exactly like with youtube it feels like a party that no one's coming to for about like a week and a half but you have to still pretend like everybody's there <laughs> exactly exactly and, and I, I hate it i hate it i hate it i hate it twitch is awesome i can just be myself relax chill stream as long or as little as i want nice and nice. it's awesome nice all right awesome awesome i like that i like that so um we got the draft coming up. It's in, it's in about what, like seven days, eight. Yes, yes, something like yes. That. Uh, how, how, uh, how confident are you going into this draft? I'm confident as I am as confident as the next turn. I could get sniped. I could be looking at someone and just get snipered right away. It's happened every single time. Mm. So, mm. Um, <laughs> my draft, my draft technique is to sabotage other people by thinking that I want something and then steal what I really want. I like that. I like but I always, that. I always like to develop a core first. Well, I mean, that's that's the most important part because you don't want to go coreless. Yes. Right? I'd rather get bulk and then... Sweepers are everywhere, so I'd rather get bulk first. Makes sense. Makes sense. 
I mean, I, f I feel like that's what it depends on. Like, the whole, like, Fire, Water, Grass, or Dragon, Steel, Fairy. Yes, that type yes. of core, you gotta get that type of stuff going. And then, you know, you build around that. Do you have, like, an idea of some... You don't have to say what you want. Do you have, like, an idea of, like, a Mega you want to use? Or a specific Pokemon you want to build around right now? I can say it now, but, you know, it always changes. You know, someone could, you know, steal what I'm thinking, and then I have to reevaluate my whole life in seconds. I, you know? I completely <laughs> agree with you. It's, like, literally... When someone snipes you, your heart drops. You see your light fla your life flash before your eye. Everything. I don't know how you, I don't know how you guys are doing it, but it, like if uh, it's in tears, like the are you round is where my heart gets broken every time because I go after one specific Pokemon every time, and normally it's right before I'm about to draft it gets stolen. Oh and, man! And that is my favorite Pokemon, Scrafty. I hope you. Oh, dude, Scrafty is really good though. Scrafty, well, that's he's amazing, and no wonder everybody goes. He's like he, him, and Abby Palm are like the best in RU, in my I mean, opinion. The thing is, I'm I'm a big Pangoro fan. Pangoro, I, yeah. I do like Pangoro. Like and that that dark fighting typing is a little scary at times. It especially is, especially if you're going up against a fairy. It's but, a very offensive presence, but yeah, fairies, uh, man. Yeah, those two hit hard. Both of them hit hard. But yeah, so that that's crazy. I mean. So I mean, you don't seem like super like you're you're not confident about it. Nor do you see sound like oh yeah, you're about to win the league. You got you got you got to play with what you get. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. So what what do you uh what do you describe as your battling style? Like, is do you have like a specific style you like to? Because you just said you like to go for the bulk first. So are you thinking more stall or like what are you going for? I like a regenerator core, but then I also like. I'm very keen on prankster trickery. I like I like very unconventional uh, sets. You're, you're the type of battler I hate. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, a lot of people have gotten mad at my battle style. It's just a very unconventional set where, you know, it's not the standard OU stuff. I I rarely play an OU anymore. I just think it's super duper boring. Uh, I play a lot of lower tier, a lot of mixed tier, um, a lot of little cup lately. <laughs> little cup has been going around the community. It's kind of blown yeah. up lately. Little but, cups, little cups, different. It's fun. <laughs> it's 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 very hard. It, it is, is hard. Very hard. And Min Chow just destroys little cup. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very hard. But um, I I like what you like. I just I like that aspect of you. Like, but um, that I, type of battling. Troll type. <laughs> yeah, that that type of battling. It's not like it can't be broken. It can be, of course. Yes. I've I've beaten people with regenerator cores, but it's so like. It's a very foolproof plan. The only mm -hmm. thing that can go wrong is if you battle incorrectly. Yeah. So, I, I like that. That's I've cool... been battling long enough where it's not my first rodeo anymore. <laughs> That's good, though. That's very good. That's awesome. Um, all right. So, so I got, I got, I got some other questions. I got some other questions. You, you know anybody? Do you know anyone in this? In this draft, do you have any, do you know, recognize any of these names? Uh, through Twitter and stuff, a little bit, but everybody's new, and that's why I wanted I wanted to go into a draft where I didn't know anybody. Uh, we can all be besties. We can all be part of family. Um, you know, I just like meeting new people, and that's what Pokemon's all about. That's you know what I like that because it is all about meeting new people, and that's how you grow in general. Like just yeah, for, just for anybody not, out there. Yeah, not like, even not even grow within the sense of like your channel or your stream. Just grow yeah. as a person. You got. If you keep yourself isolated, you're never going to learn anything. Exactly, exactly. So, um, I actually completely forgot to ask you this question earlier, and I'm going to okay. do it now because it's like the most like it's going to be out of it's going to be out of left field because of the where we've gotten in the interview. <laughs> it's alright, dude. I love <laughs> but, left field um, questions. Uh, how'd you get into competitive? Um, it's a funny story actually. I got in competitive in Diamond and Pearl. All the way back there. That's OG, but that's when they brought in yeah, the Wi-Fi battling. So yes, uh, so it was I was playing Diamond Pearl, and I I was a cocky little kid, you know, back in like mm. eighth grade, ninth grade was when it came out, and I was like, yeah, I got like Lucario, and I got all the starters, and yeah, I played casual, and then I was in band, I was in marching band, and uh, the senior, he's like, yeah, let's have a battle, and he just he just wrecked me, he like six would me with a Hound Doom. And I'm like, how are you out speeding? How are you just sweat? Like, how did you just sweep my whole team? And then he explained it to me. And I've been like, my mind was blown. And 
you know, I started EV training and breeding and stuff, and then I just developed my skills by myself, kind of, and then I jumped into these communities, you know, where people actually know what they're doing, and they know how to, you know, train, breed, you know, prediction, you know, the real competitive scene. So, you're telling me you had no idea what EVs and IVs were? Well, I don't think anybody did. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I said this in my last interview. Everybody says that. Every single person I interview, their first story is like, I got wrecked. And I figured <laughs> out what EVs and IVs were. Yeah, and I mean, it was back when it was just introduced and you were just able to. There was there was finally the calculations for it back in Gen 4. And I like, but it wasn't until Gen 6 where they actually said it in game. It's like, hey, yeah, this is a thing. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you weren't even able, like, if you're a breeder, you weren't able to, like, figure out, like, okay, if it's my Pokemon good, you'd have to figure it out yourself. Yeah, I've I've bred thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of eggs, 999 hours on multiple cartridges just by virtually riding a bike back and forth. Mm. <laughs> Which is Who doesn't sad. love bike riding, though? <laughs> I mean, is... your body is probably in great shape. Yes. riding your bike actually i used to i was a weird kid i i uh i wrestled my whole life so i would wrestle and lose weight myself but then i'd also be playing game boy like on a treadmill breeding <laughs> <laughs> that's how it goes yeah that's game the grind You're yeah grinding right. on a treadmill yeah i gotta grind my real life body and i gotta grind my Pokemans. <laughs> Everybody does. If you're not grinding your Pokemans, you're not grinding at all. Exactly. All right. So um, <laughs> I got another question for Shoot you there. here. Uh, this question, I like to ask this question because I feel like it's different. I don't feel like a lot of people ask this type of question. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have an inspiration when it comes to battling, when it comes to uh battling in sense of actually battling or battling in sense of the energy that they bring to the battles do you watch anyone on youtube have you taken uh like i guess has anyone come to you and said okay this is this is how it goes or you've learned from them something like that or someone that you put on a pedestal to be the best battler and you want to be like them um there are some very very um as as a poker tubers i mean there's no one i really look up to it's more of like I want to do that kind of same thing, you know. I mean, there, um, you know, I look, I watch a lot of poker tubers, but I watch a lot to learn. Uh, a lot of, a lot of different ones, like Hayden and Shady Penguin, more are more for entertainment. Uh -huh. They're not the best battlers, but they're they're entertaining. If I would have to say who I learn the best from, it's probably like Cybertron with VGC stuff. I feel like he's the most analytical uh, when he uh, he's in a battle, and I learn the most from his. Um, YouTube videos makes sense. I mean, every a lot of people say that though. Like he is one of the best VGC battlers out there. So, mm -hmm. and uh, that's good. No, I mean with Shady, I actually learned a lot from Shady personally speaking. Oh, I, I, I I'm, I'm not saying that I don't learn a lot, but I feel he's more of the entertaining aspect, yeah. and, I, and I love that. And because I'm more of an entertaining aspect, I feel myself. I try to be more entertaining than not take my rating and take the battles too seriously if my mean. opponent is having fun i'm having fun you know i think the thing with shady i've said this before you learn something without knowing you learned it I, I i see that i see that i see that because i like i feel like that's how i got decent at this it's yeah. because it's he's an awesome character and you just like i guess you just take it in oh that's where i should have moved this mm -hmm. pokemon in and that pokemon out and then you just like you do it in your battle, and you're like, "Whoa, Shady taught me something." <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, I like. I really like asking that question because it's super. Everybody has a different answer, and yes. even if they have like a similar person, they always have like a different, different uh, reason why. Different reason, exactly. So that's that's pretty awesome. I mean, I, I think that's pretty much it. But I do got one more question to ask you, my friend. Oh. Is yes, I will go out with you. Okay. Okay. So, we'll, yes. we'll, we'll, okay, we'll talk about that one afterwards. <laughs> we'll talk about that one afterwards. All right. So, I do need to ask you um, are you going to be the PMC champion? Um, that, was, that was very not convincing. <laughs> uh, let me think about that. Yes. We're just going to say yes. 
I hope to get into a playoffs if there's a playoff. I hope to meet new people. And I hope to be consistent and make sure I get all my battles done. That is what I hope. That's what I hope, too. That is that is my hopes into this. I, I will be doing them all on stream. Hopefully, well, not hopefully. I will do them all on stream. And that is my what I hope to get out of this league. Those are my hopes for you, my friend. All right. Well, we're going to hope each other does that. <laughs> yes, we... Let's hope. Let's hope for Mr. Infraready. Thank you, everybody, for showing up to this video. And thank you, Mr. Infraready, for being interviewed, my friend. Anytime, bud. Thank you. Okay. So, with that being said, uh, once again, thank you, everyone, for showing up. Show your support on the video. There are so many other videos on the channel that you guys can check out. And, um, you know, just enjoy yourself. Have a great day. And uh, have a good time. Want to say goodbye, Mr. Infraready? Uh, I would just love to say that I just love being here. <laughs> he likes being here. I feel like you had something you wanted to say, but then it just like... It yeah, it just slipped my mind. It slipped your mind. All right. All Sorry. right. Either way. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. All right. Peace.